Hello everybody and welcome back to RPG Horror Stories. If I'm sounding better, that would be right. I'm just about over this illness. My fever has broken and I'm feeling a million times better. So let's get cracking on into the story. Still going to be a short video today because I am currently going to be filming the rest of the Old Man Henderson tale right after this. But I want you guys to be able to enjoy something in the meantime. The DM killed my character in a cutscene. My friends and I have been playing a 5th edition campaign for about one year together. I created a character for this campaign where I fleshed out his personality more thoroughly than I had with any previous character. He got to develop over the course of the story and the other players responded to him well. My wife and I learned that we were expecting a baby, not our first, and I told the group that I would need to take a break from the game after the baby was born for the adjustment period. A couple weeks later, the DM sent me a text stating that he's considering killing off my character in an upcoming session. I responded, asking that my character not be killed off, and suggested he spend time at his god's temple or something. I never got a response. Fast forward a couple of months. It's one month from the due date and our session is a big siege type attack. We play for several hours until the city is taken. Once the battle is ended, the DM introduces a brand new, big bad evil guy who suddenly appears right next to my character. The DM makes a die roll, never clarifying why they are rolling. Behind the screen, it announces that the big bad evil guy just killed my character. No damage announced, just that my character was immediately dead. The DM declared to the group that he had planned this with me. The group was shocked and I didn't want to kill the momentum of the argument, so I just didn't speak up. The more I thought about it, the more it bothered me. I talked with another player and showed the text exchange. This validated my frustration. It's been three months since the birth of a healthy daughter. We have started a Starfinder campaign with the same Dungeon Master, but his poor communication is really hampering my enjoyment. Other issues are also present, uh, examples being any railroading story, little or no description of locations, blaming players for any misunderstandings of the world, and outright refusal to have a session zero. I'm thinking of leaving the game altogether. Well, OP, wouldn't you be stuck in a pile of shit right now? Unfortunate for you, uh, there's not much you can do aside from leave the game. That said, there's a lot of bad things here, and one major issue aside from him just outright faking a role and saying, YOUR CHARACTER'S DEAD, is the fact that, uh, well, quite frankly, he's not having session zero. Because he thinks he knows you guys. WHO THE FUCK DOESN'T HAVE A SESSION ZERO?! What sane DM would not have a session zero, even if it was just with their friends? Always have a session zero. Always have your rules set out in stone. And never, never just murder people for no fucking reason. You wouldn't do it in the real life, why would you do it in the game? Next post. One dice to rule them all. This is a tame story compared to what we have seen here, since everyone was having fun. But I still feel traumatized years later. In my first Pathfinder campaign, our lovely DM had a screen and one set of dice says... It's just die or for one and dice for multiple with one d6 and one d8, and he would never borrow ours. So whenever an enemy would sneak attack, fireball or spit acid on one or several of us, he would roll the x dice needed, the x die needed one by one behind his screen by using the same dice over and over again. And we would never know how many times he had to roll it before it was over. It's been five years, and I still remember him saying something like, The dragon's breath engulfs you all in flames! 
and then smiling quietly for very long half minutes of dead silence, only to be broken by the sound of the one die rolling. Okay, we can tank that. This is gonna be a lot, isn't it? Uh, he's gonna stop now, right? Oh, no, he's not. We're so screwed. Have mercy on our souls! Fuck. Thankfully, I was a careful, high-dexterity, heal-bot priest that would almost always manage to make the party of buff warriors mostly survive. But, that was stressful. So, big thing is that when you only have one die for all of the multi-die roll that you need to do, you introduce a large amount of air as a DM. I mean, like, there's nothing really well and truly long for it, because, you know, you've got the clickety-clack going on. You gotta love your clickety-clackety math rocks. I mean, like, listen to this. I've got some right here. But you need to have more than one. <laughs> at, the, at, at least two or three of each, I would say. And... Just... Hope that your DM isn't a masochist. Or a sadist. Because here's the thing. The biggest sadists are also masochists. So, uh, that's all we have for today. Much love to say sexy. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I'm hopefully going to finish recording the Old Man Henderson tale today. If not, it'll be like another day or two. And then I can start editing. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!